These are the 10 worst weapons in Pavlov. But before we get into it, make sure you guys smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more Pavlov Shack content like this. And also, I'd like to give a fat shout out for these new channel members. Alec on YouTube, Davis Arthur, Jason Dardar, and Apex HD. You guys are amazing. Anyway, let's get into it. Number 10. So at our number 10 spot is going to be the brand new weapon, the Scorpion. Now, it's at number 10 because it's not as bad as some of these other weapons. When you are just using this thing alone, it can be pretty bad. By itself, it's not really a great weapon. When you compare it to the AK and the G3 and you have a Scorpion, I mean, this thing is only going to be useful on a couple of maps. A map like Bridge, you're just going to, you're going to die. If you dual wield this thing, it can actually be really nasty. Say I'm just coming up on him, just... It's not the worst weapon by any means, but it is definitely not good by itself, and you have to dual wield it. Number 9. Alright guys, so coming in at our number 9 spot is going to be the Mini Uzi. Don't get me wrong, I used to love this weapon, but as I've played more and more of Pavlov, this thing just does not cut it. It's an alright weapon, just like the Scorpion, except in my opinion, the Scorpion is actually better than this. The Uzi is a little more accurate. If you're gonna have an up close battle, you may as well have the Scorpion. Why would you pick the Uzi over something like the MP5 and the Draco? I mean, there's just no point in using this weapon. And that's for a lot of guns on this list, it's just because there are simply better options. And the only reason you would buy this is because of the cheap buy price. Number eight. So guys, coming in at our number eight spot is going to be the SKS. Now, let's be honest. If you're playing a search and destroy match, who uses the SKS? I've never, I really don't see anybody use this weapon. And no offense to anybody that likes this weapon, okay? This thing, in my personal opinion, is not a good buy. Especially when you can buy the G3 that basically has no recoil. Why would you buy this? I mean, just check out the recoil on this thing. So as you can see, he's over there. For this thing having that much kick on it, it should definitely do way more damage. Now, I will give it some props, and it's why it's on number 7. It's because it does have a one-hit headshot. If you hit a headshot, it will kill them with a helmet on. It's just not, why would you buy this when you have better weapons that can do that and be automatic at the same time and have less recoil? That's basically my point. I get it. It may have its fans, but I'm personally not a fan of this weapon. Number 7. Alright guys, so coming in at our number 7 spot is going to be the Vector. Now I'm not talking about the TTT version of this weapon. This is the search and destroy version. Because the TTT version has no recoil. It has basically no recoil at all, which actually makes the weapon good. I mean, yeah, if you're up close, this is a nice weapon. This thing is just... It's something about it. When you play with it in search and destroy, you're just not going to do very well with it. Especially when you have the MP5, the mini AK, and the, the UMP. I mean, those weapons just destroy this thing. So... At a distance, right, the MP5 and the Draco would be able to shoot him, but this thing, the kick, I mean, you gotta look at the damage output on that. I mean, how can you tell me that that's better than any other SMG in the game? I mean, you may as well, for the same price, get a Draco or a, a MP5. Number six. So guys, coming in at the number six spot is going to be a little controversial. It's the FAMAS. Now, I know a lot of people... PC players love this weapon. They just think it's the greatest thing in the world. For some reason, bro, I can't deal with this weapon. I mean, especially when you have stuff like the AK, the M4, the G3, uh, some sniper. I mean, dude, this thing, it's just the recoil on it's terrible. I mean, it would be great if the recoil was toned down just a little bit. But, I mean, as you can see, this thing just kicks straight up. I mean, it's worse than the AK, and the AK could kill you in one hit. I mean, why would you choose this over the M4 is, I don't know. I just don't think that it fares very well compared to the M4. I mean, look how much damage it does per second. I mean, that's just not, that's that's not good when in terms of Pavlov when you can just get boom, one shot to the head and you're dead. I mean, the AK, the G3, those weapons, I mean, I keep emphasizing that, but that's what makes these weapons so bad. Number five. Coming in at our number five spot is going to be the Spaz. If you're gonna use a shotgun. I don't think I've ever seen anybody use this shotgun. I mean, just look at the damage. That's god awful. It took four shots from a shotgun to kill somebody? Are you serious? This isn't the worst shotgun in the game, which we'll get to that in a minute. And the fact that this gun is more than the sawed off shotgun is just ridiculous. I mean, the sawed off shotgun will kill you in one hit from this range. If you get lucky with this weapon, you can get a headshot and it'll kill him. But just god no, this is one of the worst shotguns. As you can see, you're just spraying that thing, doing no damage. Look, then you gotta load each shell. 
Like, I mean, it took so long to kill him when he could have had an AK or a G3 or any other assault rifle or a deagle or just any weapon that does more damage than this. I mean, this is just god awful. Number four. All right, guys. So coming in at our number four spot is going to be the drum shotgun. This thing is terrible. God awful. You... Oh my goodness, this is almost number one, but we have some worse weapons than this. I mean, <laughs> do I have to say anything more about this weapon? The price of 4200 for this dog sh** of a weapon. It may look like it has big balls on it, but this thing sucks. You pay almost the price of a sniper for what? You can get a 50 cal for this thing. All right, so as a demonstration, you buy the auto shotgun for $4,200, all right? So we're going to do a little death match here and see who wins, okay? All right. If his aim wasn't garbage, I'd be dead already. But as you can see, bro, I mean, you're just going to get destroyed. Number three. So coming in at the number three spot. And you guys might think this is a little unfair, is the Glock. On pistol rounds, the pistols really don't matter. I mean, all the pistols are gonna kill with one hit to the head. But damage-wise, and if you were to, God forbid, to use this weapon in a normal round and not a pistol round, you're gonna get smacked. I mean, let's just face it. Most of the pistols are terrible, other than the Deagle, Revolver, and I would say Tech. But the Tech recently got nerfed, so it's not my favorite pistol anymore. Let's see how many shots it takes to kill him. One. Two, three, four, five, six, six bursts, six bursts. Number two. All right, guys, so coming in at our number two spot is going to be the Beretta. This thing is b -b -b bad. Pistol rounds, you may as well buy a deal. I mean, you can buy any pistol that you want. Why would you choose this? It's irrelevant. This thing does terrible damage. So let's, let's get it normal range. To be fair, all the pistols do take a lot of body shots to get kills, but there's just better alternatives. At ranges, this thing is alright, but there's other pistols that are good at ranges that do a lot more damage, so, I mean, it's pretty accurate. A Deagle is the number one ranged weapon that you can get on pistol round. I mean, I just don't see a reason to use the Beretta. Compare that to the Deagle right here. I mean, you, you choose. I mean, what? Wh which one are you choosing, bro? Because I'm not choosing that dirty piece of shit. Number one. Coming in at the number one spot, and I'm pretty sure we all expected this. The 1911. The only thing this weapon is good for is saving you money. That's literally the only thing this thing is good for. Pistol round, yes, you can get a headshot, and it will save you money. Look how many body shots this thing takes. So, as you can see... What, more than six? Ah, oh, nah, bro. I'm not even gonna kill him for that. But yes, I acknowledge that if you don't buy a pistol and you use the 1911, yes, you can save money. Uh, it's good for that. But we're talking pure weapons, okay? Pure weapons. If you had to choose any weapon, this thing is god awful. This is the most trash weapon in the game, in my opinion. I mean, if you have a 1911, you're going against an M4. You're over. You're over. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more Pavlov Shack content like this. And these are just my personal opinions, so don't take any offense if your favorite gun was on this list. Anyways, guys, peace out.